to sell the idea of adding drones to its toolkit. The idea is controversial and it comes only after the department acquired a drone without public knowledge. ABC 7 News reporter David Louie is live at City Hall where the meeting will be held. David. Well, Alma, the controversy is over how San Jose police acquired that drone before a public meeting as to, to, to discuss how it would be used and what policies would govern its use. Anyone can walk out of a store with a drone for as little as a few hundred dollars. For many, it has become a hobby or a tool for videographers. How many drones are there in Silicon Valley? A conservative estimate there will be beyond 5,000. And if San Jose police have their way, there will be one more, a Century Neo 660, just like this one. Officers want to use it to check out suspected explosive devices or to assess hostage situations. Professional drone pilot Steve Hall says it will be faster and less intrusive than a helicopter. It might take you a few minutes to get a helicopter launched from the airport or a drone open up your trunk. And in three minutes, you could be up in the sky and see what's going on. He launched one of his drones over Cesar Chavez Park in downtown San Jose to demonstrate how it could be easily maneuvered to check out an equipment box on the ground. Of course, it could also be used to peer through windows, which creates privacy concerns. Hall looked into the fifth floor windows at our San Jose Bureau. Inevitably, the sight and sound of a drone draws attention. People tend to stare at it. So we asked people staring at this one if they thought it would be a good tool police or an invasion of privacy. You know, with everything going on with um, kidnappings and people being crazy, sure, that would be a great use for the police department. Maybe some regulation around registration, some kind of tracking of uh, uh, technology is going to be necessary. Police are running into criticism. It acquired its drone before gauging public input or explaining how it will be used. Some lawmakers think it's time to tap on the brakes. This is one of those times, I think, where we need to take our time, sort through the issues, and then make a decision. The California ACLU takes an even tougher stand. Community members and policymakers know that it's time to turn things around and make sure that local communities are the ones that decide when and why surveillance systems are going to be used. In San Jose, David Louie, ABC 7 News. International News.